I guess before this video starts, I just want to give out a quick disclaimer that the content provided in these materials is intended for educa educational purposes educational purposes only and whatever you learn right here it's all on you guys not my fault and yeah this is just a ctf challenge for the most part anyway let's get started so the challenge that we're going to be doing today is going to be called uh oh, i'm trying to look for it it's gonna be called cmd2 haven't done it yet so with cmd2 you're supposed to uh shn and then uh uh pass in your uh the pipe uh passing the port and then uh, use the flag from cmd1 so this is uh so if you guys haven't solved cmd1 i'll probably link the video down below or you can just look inside my uh, pwnable.kr playlist and like uh solve the challenge for you guys yourselves and look at the video and solve it yourself so anyway let's get started let's uh i'm already ssh in for the most part so first thing i'm gonna do is check out the source code for the for the i guess for the for this challenge and the first thing i got was that Seems to be a lot more uh, filtration happening for the most part. We have flag, we have this being taken out. Uh, I guess backslash is being uh, uh, filtered out as well. And then export path and all this is being uh, mentioned. So a lot more uh, stronger uh, filtration for the most part. And then we see right here that we delete our environment variable so we can't use a no command until you become a hacker. So I guess calling in the path environment for the most part is going to be a little bit more difficult. Um, so we had to find a way to specify the path of cat like we usually do for this challenge. So well, let's just zoom this in right like this so you guys can see it more. So let's see if we try doing, I guess, CMD2 and then just do what we uh, let's do, um, which cat and then we do CMD2. CMD2, and then we just pass in bin cat. And then, uh, oh wait, it'll probably be something like this because it's going to read as a string. So we do uh, bin cat and then flag. Nothing pops out. So that makes sense. Bin cat. And then we try it's cat. Nothing pops out too. So that makes it like I guess uh, a lot more cool for the most part. So let's try uh, let's try we could bypass the flag part. So if we just put well after reading a write up supposedly if you put a uh, question mark it bypasses it it auto fills it. So it's gonna assume that you're talking about flag. So if we do this we sh could get the execution being found, but it says right here cat not found. So we need to find a way to import the path. So we do know the we do know that. Uh, if we cat cmd.2.c, it's using the system command. And when you run a system command, it's running it through uh, sh. So if you, it's running it through sh, and we could prove this just by system right here, system and c. It passes a command and it specifies the host environment. Oh my, it's taking a while to load up. My Sorry for my, I guess, uh, internet speed. It's not that good or not that great. So we go right here. Uh, Sends a command. Uh, I'm trying to, this is probably not a good one. I need mean, like a really good. Uh, just a command call and see. We're just waiting for this to load up. Uh, we could call it. Uh, there, it returns to zero if it's successful. Oh. Close out this. Close out zero. Convoke C. So. Mm, control F. SH. Okay, so it opens a shell on the operating system that. Uh, on the operating system. That's basically all you need to know. It opens a shell. So I'm, gonna see, I'm trying to see if there's a. Where it says it mentions sh. Not really. So, anyway, uh, so I I guess the main thing is that it drops a shell. That's all you need to know. And um, uh, how you will solve this or approach this problem is like uh, look for any mentions of uh 
of path inside the sh uh, man pages so if you go type in sh man or man sh you'll get like oh man sh you'll get like a bunch of stuff but we want to see if we could find uh uh any mentions of path so if we do something like uh man sh and then we grab for it we pipe it and then do grab path like this we see there's one mention of uh of path when you pass in the dash p it searches for a command using the path guarantee to find all standard utilities so if we just simply pass in dash p we could pass in uh the i guess for the most part uh the the uh it, it will automatically find the path for us for the most part so we want to know where uh, the dash p is located because uh let me just copy this and go on like uh I guess right here. Dash P searches for uh, uh probably like if we just put this like that. Oh. Just like put it in quotes to find it more. Hello, hello. Oh yeah, my bad. My uh, I guess my my mic is not working at the moment. So anyway, so we we right now all I did was just Google for this specific thing where it mentioned it, and it's it's in the command because since we're able to drop a shell, we could pass in command along with dash p to uh to search for a path. So simply, if we just do uh, cmd two, or we could I think we could just show it off right here. So we do command slash p, and then we're gonna do cat. Because we want to look for it, it's gonna automatically look for our cat, uh, our cat path, and then after that we just want to mention our flag. So we do something like this, we get permissions denied. Now if we do something like this, permissions denied for flag. So now you see how we're gonna do it for the most part. So now we're gonna just simply put this in a single uh, string, I guess, and pass it into dot slash cmd two. And using this, we should get our flag fun with share variables. Ha ha ha. So we just copy this and insert it inside our, uh, inside our challenge. So CMD2. Hopefully, I'm not, it didn't sign me out. But if it did, then oh well. So if we just auth login first. I'm not to log in. But anyway, that was, that was, uh, yeah, that was it for this challenge. Just simply understanding for the most part, uh, uh, I guess uh, you could pass in a path using command slash p if you don't if like the path gets uh, messed up in our case it was for this challenge cmd dot to c as you see right here uh, no command ex execution is to become hacker and then it deletes environment variables for the most part so yeah that was about it for this challenge and yeah uh, peace.